viewers and welcome to another Odoo 18 series by Cybrosis. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to set up alerts and warnings in Odoo 18 to proactively manage your inventory and purchasing processes. By implementing these alerts, you can avoid stock outs, optimize purchasing decisions and streamline your supply chain. So now let's dive into the details. First of all, let's open the purchase module here. So this is the purchase module. And the first thing which you have to do is go to configuration, choose the settings and there you have to enable certain things. As you can see here, we have warnings, which is to get warnings in orders for products or vendors. So I'm setting a warning here and saving it. Okay, so the warning is done. So once you enable it, make sure you save it. So after saving it, I'm going to the products here. Okay, so let's choose any product. So first product I'm choosing is acoustic block screen. Okay. And if you go to the purchase tab and scroll down here, you can see warning. So warning when purchasing this particular product. So you have three options. One is no message. One is warning and one is blocking message. So I'm putting acoustic block screen as no message. Okay. And then I'm going to products and choosing another product. So let it be Apple Pie choosing this product and here you have the purchase tab and if you scroll down you can see the message as warning. So here I'm putting as this is expired okay and after doing that save it. Next I'm choosing another product let it be the black embroidered shirt okay so here also you have the purchase tab. Scroll down and here I am putting a blocking message. So I'm putting damaged product. Okay. And I'm saving it. So three types of warnings I'm set. I've set it for three different products. And the next thing is the, you know, vendors. So you have to put warnings for vendors as well. So here you have this person who's as your interior. So currently, if you go to the internal notes of the person, this person has no message right now. You can put a warning message as a scammer or something. So I'm putting scammer. So this is the warning message which I've set. Okay. So the next one we'll try after, um, you know, checking all these things. So let's go to the RFQ and click on a new here. So I'm choosing the person who is as your interior. As you can see, the warning message has come, which is scammer. I'm closing it. Going back to orders and choosing vendor. Okay, so here I've given scammer. Internal notes, scroll down and choosing this to block message. So I am putting as a fraud. This is a fraud vendor. Okay, so going to RFQ again, creating a new one and I'm choosing is your interior. So you can see this is a block message. Okay, so you can't choose that person at all. That the other one was a warning message and here you can't choose the person at all. So that's the other one. Now if you choose any other person, it's just Abigail and here I'm adding a normal product which is whiteboard pen. No problem because no warning was set. I'm going to choose the other product which is acoustic block screen. So here you have acoustic block screen. So no message was what I've given for that. No warning message. Next, you have this product called Apple Pie. So if you choose that, a warning will come as expired. I'm closing it. So it's just a message, but the product will be there. I'm adding the other one, which is the black embroidered shirt. See, this is a blocking message. Same damaged product. If I close it, the product will be there. So this is how you set a warning for different products as well as windows, okay? So it makes your, you know, purchase module experience a pretty much, you know, simpler, okay? So I hope this concept is clear and I hope you all studied how to set warning for, you know, windows as well as products. So I hope this is clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.